right. You guys uh, obviously had the situation with Javon in the second half when he got injured, and you knew you guys needed to step up. How big was it for you both to be able to step in that second half, especially with the uh, pace of the game changing? Uh, coach always been telling us on in practice that no matter what happened, we had to stick together, and then somebody got to step up. So today was the day to to step up uh, as a team, and then that's what we did. Uh, just the same thing he said. Yeah, um, coach always tells us uh, somebody goes down and somebody got to step up, and we were there for him. This one uh, to either of you guys. You guys have had some close calls in the Big East this season. How does it feel to finally get over the hump and, and get that first conference win? Uh, it, it feels good. Um, we we uh we lost a couple games by a couple possessions, and you know uh, we had to learn from them, like mistakes and all that. Uh, but the win feels good. Yeah, we've been watching a lot of films. Uh, coach always been saying, uh, been saying that the last minute we gotta take care of the ball. Cause in the be easy if you lose a possession, you can lose the game. So we we working on that, trying to get better. Um, on, on Tuesday, um, the game allowed us to watch and hear Coach Doublefield throughout the game and uh, what he was telling you guys. And a lot of the times he was preaching uh, more defensive effort. Um, today you guys seem like played with with a better defensive performance. Can you just talk about the adjustments you guys made and was it just you know, a pride thing, just playing harder on the defensive end. I feel like everything is starting practice. And then after the game Tuesday, we went Wednesday, and we were just, like, focused on defense, uh, doing a lot of different drills and stuff like that. And then he showed up today. Yeah, we don't really um, – he told us not to focus on offense, you know, just lock in on defense. He told us, like, um, it's nothing he could teach. You got to come from the heart. You got to be – got to be tough. And I have a question for both you guys. Um, did you guys feel like this was your best conference game this season? And how do you use this to play the rest of the games in the Big East? Um, can you repeat that one more time? I said, uh, did you feel that like this was your best team's game this season in conference? Uh, yes. And we knew like the couple games we played, we knew we had what it took, but we got to just, it was really just defense, like locking in on defense. We focused in on defense and got a couple stops and got this up. I feel like we've been playing good. We just like in this second half, we just like basically like fell down and think we already got the game and just like chill. So today I feel like we did it for 40 minutes. And then in the last minute of play, it was all seen hall. What wasn't going well for you guys out there? Uh, we, we wasn't executing for real. So we got we to gotta work on that. Uh, we get back to practice. Um, make sure you work on that. Take care of the ball. Uh, Jalen, you, you stepped up and hit some big free throws in that final minute. Can you just talk about your mindset and um, how it felt to, you know, drain a couple of those clutch shots? Uh, the other day. Was that yesterday? Yeah, no. Nah. Yes, nah, the day before yesterday. Yeah, yeah, we had Wednesday. practice. Wednesday, yeah, we had practice. Um, coach made us shoot 50 free throws, and uh, I shot 50, 50 for 50. 50. So. Hey, 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 no. The way you practice, <laughs> it translates to the game. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Well, first of all, let me say, you know, I'm proud of the team and the resilience that they showed in the fight. You know, obviously we've been hit with some adversity um, in the Big East, you know, losing the games that we've lost. And one thing, our guys have had some stick to itness where they stuck together as a team, stayed positive, come to practice, worked harder and just continue to try to get better. And um, that's something we've been practicing, I mean, preaching to these young men just to stay together. Um, it's the Big East, it's a tough league, you know, night in and night out, it's, it's gonna be a war and that nobody's gonna feel sorry for us and, and, and give us a victory. We're gonna have to go out there and take it. And our guys fought hard against a very good Seton Hall basketball team. And um, we got to do it on the defensive end, rebounding the basketball. But you, you got to be able to stop teams at this level. And again, giving up 92 points is still too many points. But, you know, we held a team to 40% from two, 27% from three. So I, I'm proud of the effort our guys are playing with, um, you know, diving after loose balls, getting stops. But there's much more room for improvement. We can get better. Um, and we got to continue to get better. You know, next Wednesday, we got Xavier, and it gets no easier. So um, we got to continue to get better and um, just go from there.
Uh, Coach, can you just provide an, an update on, on Javon's status? You know, he's been having a little problem with his groin, and he, he got hit in it tonight. And, you know, Javon is a tough kid. He's been playing through it, and it got a little tight on him. And, you know, obviously health and safety is the most important for these young men, and he, he wanted to try. But it it just, you know, I wasn't going to put him in danger of, of having to play through that. He'll, he'll bounce back. He'll be there. Um, we got a couple of days off so he can get some treatment, and he'll be ready. Um, on Tuesday against Merced, you really talked about and, and try to employ your team to play with the more uh, with a better defensive effort against Marquette. Um, do you feel like today tonight's game was a much stronger effort from you guys on the defensive end? We gave up too many points, but we did do a better job of getting down and getting stops and being more connected defensively. Um, we had a four or five minute lapse there in the second half, obviously to end the game where we gave up too many point blank layups. Um, but our guys did take away some things. Um, they did a good job on the board. Um, they fought the dribble, and I thought they were more locked in as far as the defensive game plan of what we were trying to get accomplished. Um, you know, Jalen Jalen Terry and David Jones uh, stepped up there in the second half with Javon being out. Can you just talk about their performance um, in the closing time? You know, really happy for David Jones. You know, and, and again, you know, David had a very good game against Louisville. Um, it was a situation where it, it's hard on these young men where, you know, he had to sit out for 10 days with, with, with no activity to be able to just come back and you're thrown into the Big East. So, you know, to get your rhythm, to get your conditioning back, that's hard. And, and he wants to. David is a, a, a great kid. He wants to. But you're doing it against high-level competition. So, I'm, you know, I'm glad to see he came back strong, finally had a breakthrough game. And um, he's a good player, and he's only going to get better. Um, Jalen Terry, again, is a young man that is really a freshman. You know, he was with me at Oregon last year, but he didn't play a lot at Oregon. And he, he didn't play much at all during the Pac-12. So, again, it's going to take some time. Those guys will get better. And um, Jalen has done a great job of learning from his mistakes. You know, he's been in there. He's studying film, watching the things that he can do to get better. And, again, when you guard his size, you really got to put pressure on teams defensively by getting after the ball. You got to be able to push the ball. And um, obviously did a great job of stepping up and making some big free throws. Uh, Tony, talk about uh, your performance in the first half, specifically his blocks on defense and making Seton Hall's life very miserable in terms of being able to make a dent in the paint. You know, your gives it all he has. I mean, he's going to lay it on the line every time he steps out there on that floor. You know, your is never one that's complaining about shots. If he's getting shots, getting the ball, he's just trying to do whatever it takes for the team to win. And I'm just happy for your and what he's bringing to the table. And let me just say this, even with Nick, you know, Nick is still banged up, and he came out there and he played through it tonight. You know, he could have very easily shut it down, but he he, he fought through an injury as well. But with, back to your, you know, yours giving us great energy, great effort from on the defensive end, being a defensive presence as far as blocking shots, doing a great job on the glass, and he'll continue to get better. And to follow up his free throws tonight, they were fouling him a lot, and he, he made a lot tonight. You know, he went nine for 12, but, you know, yours has been practicing. He's working at it. And, you know, the basketball guys, it's going to pay off for you at some point. If you put the work in, it will pay off for you. But, and he's really been getting there early, putting extra work in, doing individual work, and it paid off for him tonight. Hey, Coach, so against Marquette, you really talked about the first five minutes were so important. Was this something that you emphasized today as well? You know, just – playing 40 minutes you know we got to be able to put 40 minutes together and um we're still about 10 minutes short you know we, we, we've got a good solid 30 so we got more and it's about playing when that ball is tipped off you got to be ready to play we can't dig ourselves whole because it, it takes too much energy to get back in the game we have to exert too much you know we got to be ready to go when that ball is tipped we got to be ready to go coming out of halftime you know, it's just like the day the score was zero to zero on that board when we came out for that second 20 minutes. And that's the mentality that we have to have. And then a couple minutes ago, Jalen and David both said that they shot 50 free throws at the end of practice the other day. Were you impressed by your team's performance at the line today? We, we might need to shoot, shoot 100 next time. <laughs> no, but no, they, they did a good job. They, they were locked in. You know, we got 45 free throws, made 36 of them. You know, our guys were locked in. They did a great job of stepping up, knocking down free throws today.